Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can type in uh, the terms of delivery in Tally Prime. So let's get right into it. Firstly, to actually write the terms of delivery, you need to record a sales order. And I'll be using this uh, article, which I have found on the Tally Prime or Tally Solutions website. And I'll be showing you step by step how to do it. So as you can see, step one is to press Alt and G, which is go to, and then you need to go to create a voucher. Then just click F10, which is other vouchers, and type or select the sales order. Alternatively, you can go to Gateway of Tally, go to vouchers, go to F10, and then type or select the sales order. You can then activate the sales order type uh, of voucher if it is inactive by selecting yes or pressing Y when prompted. Next, what you want to do is enter the party details, which is the party account name. Uh, you need to select a cash or bank for cash sales. Uh, and the party name for credit sales and press enter and then you can create the party account on the fly by pressing alt and c then you need to dispatch the details which is uh, in the enter the dispatch details well pretty much field and then just press enter as needed and then you can choose to enable the option for order details by pressing f12 here is probably where you'll be able to write your terms of delivery after that, you just need to enter the party details, which you can update uh, while recording the transaction, then enter the sales order number for the voucher. And then if you want, you can enter an order, uh, press F12 to configure, set provide order number for each stock item to yes. Then the order number field appears in the item allocation screen, and it does not appear on the main screen of the invoice. Then you need to select the sales ledger to allocate the stock items, then provide the stock item details by selecting the stock item or creating a new item on the fly by pressing Alt plus C. Then you need to enter the due on date and quantity. The rate gets autofilled if you have sold the same item earlier. However, you may choose to enter the rate manually, and then the amount appears automatically. Uh, then if you want orders with different due dates, specify the appropriate due date for each lot to be sold. Then after uh, entering the due dates for every lot you have signed, then you need to press enter on the due on field to return the voucher to the voucher creation screen. Then select additional ledgers like transportation charges, insurance or discount if there is any. Provide the narration as needed. As always, press control A to save and then you can go forward and the following is the sample preview screen of the sales order. As you can see here are the terms of delivery and you can do that either by providing a narration if needed or you can just do that by entering the party details or the stock item details. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.